Hey everybody, today I am going to be using up some of my scrap yarn and I'm going to be making a crochet box based off of a fabric box that you would use to store things in. I've started out by getting three strands of yarn which feel about medium to me, number four, maybe a number three. Either way, after we make our first round, you'll want that gauge to be about two inches. Um, anywhere around there and this will work out fine for you. So I'm using the three strands and a 10 millimeter hook. To start out, I'm going to do a magic ring. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hand and pull this continuing string through here. Instead of pulling it tight, I'm actually going to just stick my hook in this loop that we made here and pull this yarn tight like this. So this is our magic ring and we're going to be working all of our stitches in and around this yarn. So first we're going to start out with a chain three. So yarn over and pull that through the first loop yarn over and pull it through the second loop, yarn over and pull it through one more time. That's a chain three and that will count as our first double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet around this 11 more times for 12 double crochets. So yarn over, go in and around the yarn Yarn over again for three loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two loops. Yarn over and go through two loops. Then you can pull that up to your chain like this. And then do it again. Yarn over, go in and around it. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through two turn over and go through two. So there's three. Yarn over, go in and around, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So right now I'm using this for stability and when the circle is so big it's kind of hard to use it for stability. So if you just pull this tail here and make this circle just a little bit smaller. It makes it easier to use this as your tail and then you can keep crocheting. So I have four here and I'm going to crochet eight more and I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, so that is 12 stitches for this round. So now I am going to, now that I have all, all 12 stitches in the ring, pull it completely close. And so now we're going to slip stitch into the one, two, three, third chain at the beginning of the row. So slip your hook right in through there, yarn over, bring it back through, and bring it through the first loop. And I just like to pull that tight. So there's that. First round. Now we are going to crochet three chains again. One, two, and three. Then double crochet into this same stitch again. So yarn over, go into the same stitch. Yarn over, bring up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So that's two double crochets for this one stitch and we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch also. Two double crochets in the next and in every single stitch all the way around. And I will meet you guys at the end. Okay, so that was the last two stitches for this round. And to join that again, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning of the round. and pull that tight and we've got this bottom here starting okay 
So for round three, we are going to start off by chaining three. One, two, and three. Then we're going to double crochet one time in the next two stitches. One and two. Then we're going to double crochet two times in the next stitch. Then chain two. And double crochet two more times into the same stitch. Coming to the end of one of my yarns already. And then we're going to double crochet one time in the next five stitches. And the end of my yarn really is close. And I'm not going to do the traditional changing of yarns like I normally would. I'm just going to tie them together because it's not going to be as noticeable as it normally would be. So I'm just going to normally tie these two together. And keep on crocheting. So we crochet, double crocheted five, two double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, two double crochet into the same stitch again. And then double crochet one time in the next five stitches. Okay, we're at the last corner. We're going to two double crochet in this space. Chain two, two double crochet in the same space. Then one double crochet in the next two spaces. We're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning three. Pull that tight. And as you can see, we've got the beginning of a square now. And that is the end of row three. So for row four, we're going to start out by chaining three. And we're going to double crochet one time in the next four stitches. Four double crochet around the chain two space. And nine. Then four double crochet around this chain space, nine double crochet on this side, four double crochet in this chain space, nine double crochet. Then four double crochet around this chain space, nine double crochet on this side, four double crochet in this chain space, nine double crochet on this side, 
four double crochet in this chain space and I will meet you guys here. slip stitch into the third chain to join the round. Hold that tight. And that is the end of row four. Starting to get a nice little square here going and mine is pretty sturdy. So for round five, we are going to chain three again, two and three, double crochet one time in the next five stitches. And that puts us at the middle two double crochets of the four around the chain two. So we are going to two double crochet into those two to continue making that corner just a little bit more square. So it's pretty much just a granny square, obviously, but I just made it the size of a fabric box. So then you're going to double crochet one time in the next 11 stitches. One double crochet in the next 11 stitches, two double crochet in the middle two, 11 du double crochet in the next, two double crochet in the middle two, and I will meet you guys there. Okay, I just did the last two in the last corner. So we're going to one double crochet in the next five stitches slip stitch to join in the third chain. So for round six, we are going to chain three. Double crochet into the next five stitches. And then we are going to double crochet two times in the next stitch, which is the first double of the two doubles of the last round. Then in the second double we are going to triple crochet, so we're going to yarn over once, yarn over again for three loops, go into the stitch, yarn over for four loops, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So we're going to do two of those in this stitch and the next stitch. So again you yarn over twice, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. Yarn over twice, go into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. One more time in the same stitch. Then we are going to double crochet two times in the next stitch, which is the last double of the two doubles from the last round. Do a double in it. Then we are going to do one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. Now we are at the two doubles from the last row. 
we are going to double crochet two times into the first one triple crochet two times into the next one two triple into the next and then two double into the last double of the last run. Then you're going to do one double crochet in the next 11 stitches, two double in the first double of the last run, two triple in the middle two double of the last round, and two double crochets in the last middle of the last round and do that all the way until the last corner and I will meet you guys there. Okay, I've got my last corner done with my two double crochets, two triple crochets, two triple crochets, and two double crochets. And then I'm going to do one double crochet in the next five stitches. So that is the end of round six. And to be honest with you guys, this is not exactly how I planned on this going. I did have to do it a couple of times, undo it and do it again to make sure that it was laying flat. And that's just because I'm obviously not using the same yarns as I did the first time. And you guys may be using different yarns too. So you might just have to mess around a little bit with double crochets in double spots, triple crochets in double spots, just to make those corners as round or as square as you would like them to be so that your square lays flat. Now we are going to start going up the sides of the square though and we are going to do single crochets to do that and on this first round we're going to flip it over so that the nice edge is on the outside we're going to insert a hook again and single crochet or chain one first and then single crochet into the same stitch by inserting your hook yarning over and pulling through so you have two loops yarn over and pull through both of those loops then to make it so it actually turns and starts going up we're going to double crochet or double crochet single crochet into the back loop only. So that's this stitch. Instead of going through both of them, we're going to just go through the back. Pull up a loop and go through both loops. So do that into the next. Go through only the back loop. Pull up a loop and go through both loops. Go into the back loop only. Pull up a loop and go through both loops. You're going to do that in every single stitch all the way around the square. Okay, we're at the last stitch now. I'm going to single crochet into the back of it. And we are done with this row. So we are going to, of course, slip stitch into the first single crochet to join this round. Of course, pull that tight. And it might seem like it's getting a little wrinkly, but that is okay, because that is what is going to make your box stand up as you keep doing single crochet rounds around. So now that we've got that first row of single crochets done, we are going to do the exact same thing all the way up the sides of the box until they are about 10 inches tall. 
starting off with a chain one and single crocheting into the same stitch and then single crocheting into every stitch all the way around the box and slip stitching into the first single crochet to join the round and again doing that all the way until the sides of the box are 10 inches tall. The only difference is that we are no longer going into the back loop only, we are just going into the whole stitch for the rest of the box. So sorry my lighting kind of sucks, but that is it. The one on the right is actually the first one that I've done. The one on the left is the one that I just did. It's actually a little more stiff than the first one that I did, which I actually do like. Um, and like I said, all I did was single crochet rows all the way up until the top. And then I finished it off on the top and weaved in my ends. And that's all there is to it for a scrap yarn crochet box. I hope that you guys had fun making it with me. I hope that you guys make plenty of these and that they become useful for you guys. I hope that this inspires you to make things like it and I will see you guys in the next video.